Ryan Williams is back with Bama. That's right. Just moments ago, news broke on Bama Online that he is recommitted to the Tide. What a wild recruitment this has been from reclassifications to decommit, surprise visits. This recruitment has had it all. Going to go behind the scenes of this one with Tim Watts. But first, Bama fans, it's a long offseason. Going to be exciting. Hop on board right now. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. I thank you. All right. Let's bring on Tim Watts here from Bama Online. Tim, big news because just about two weeks ago now, Ryan Williams decommitted. That one stung, but this feels good. How was Kalen DeBoer able to get him back? You know, I just think it was, a, you know, a, you know, some people say it takes a village. I think that's what Alabama did. You had people behind the scenes that were familiar with him. You still had coaches he knew like Freddie Roach and guys that, you know, in the support group that we don't see on the front facing – we mm -hmm. see the coaches, we see the head coach, but you had guys behind the scenes. And look, I looked on the database today. Ryan's been to Alabama 20 plus times. No telling <laughs> how many visits we actually mentioned. Tuscaloosa's always felt like home and he acts like it when he's there. You can see what he does, how familiar it is. He's no players on the roster. Uh, 24 signee Jalen Mbakwe is one of his best friends. You know, they're thick, they run together all the time and you can see how hard he's recruiting him so i think just overall it was a group effort but the thing about ryan is he decommitted and you kind of thought well this is his out if he doesn't want to go to alabama this is his out the greatest of all time just retired yep. he's got an easy out but instead what did he do kalen DeBoer is arrives in tuscaloosa on friday at 8 30 and by 8 30 on monday he was there meeting the staff hanging out Jalen and and him all over social we had that story on the uh, the breaking story on BOL, the round table. So he was there to hang out again. And then during the week, the staff met with him, the guys that were already on campus. And then he comes back for his official visit, brings a lot of his family. And you can see how much that means to him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've maintained all along that Alabama was going to be tough to beat. Now, if there was any doubt that he was not going to end up at Alabama, I think this ended it because he had any way he wanted not to go to Alabama. And not only is he going to Alabama, committed to Alabama, he went to great pains to make sure he had a chance to know this staff. Yeah. All right. Well, he, you know, coming off that decommitment, he scheduled a couple of visits. There was Texas A&M, there was Texas, there was Bama, and then there was Auburn. So he did take the visit to A&M. They were always on the outside looking in. I don't think they really factored in at all. But then he shut down Texas. He said, I'm not taking that visit to Texas this weekend. And things, you know, started to turn. So, Tim, I got to ask you, do you still think he takes that Auburn visit that is planned the weekend before signing day, or is this recruitment shut down? You know, I don't know right now. I mean, mm -hmm. I think Ryan's a guy that wants to be a man of his word. Look, Ryan told us the whole step of the way he was locked in, right? He told us the whole way to Nick Saban retired. Yeah, we did. didn't believe it because we're adults, and we've been tricked a lot by recruits. So, I mean, <laughs> I, get, I get the skepticism. You know, there's a lot of uh, – Lucy pulling the football out when Charlie Brown's trying to trick you. But right. he told you every time he told you numerous times he wanted to enjoy the recruiting process. He wanted to respect, you know, Auburn, the in-state school. I never thought he was leaving the state. I don't know if anybody that actually thought as close as he is with his family that that was an option. But I always felt that Alabama was it. And, I mean, obviously committing right now. I mean, he had said the whole time for months he wanted to commit on his birthday, February 9th. And instead, yeah. he's committing right now. And it's huge for Alabama because this gives them street cred. I mean, a lot of the questions are, can Caleb DeBoer recruit the South? Well, he just got the number one player on the board in the South committed. Top three or four in the nation, depending on the ranking overall. And debatably, the number one player in the state. So that's a pretty big get yeah. when, you know, when you look at it. And again, it gives them street cred. And with Nick Saban, that guy was Byron Scott, B.J. Scott back in the day in 2008 and and ryan could have that same effect for alabama not so much in 24 this kind of is what it is they still have noah right. carter out there um some portal guys they'll look at in the spring but 25 you know that starts february 3rd with unofficial visitors so you know they've been kicking the tires and getting around and making offers but ryan's huge not just for the optics but from a talent standpoint this guy's got it all Anybody that saw Washington, that saw what Jamarcus Shepard did with his wide receivers, saw the play calls, what they did with their wide receivers. Ryan's as talented as any wide receiver I've ever seen. He's going to be able to come in and learn and probably be an impact guy pretty quick day one. Okay. Yeah. And I, you know, I do agree. I think this was a big impact statement. Like you said, not much more to do in the 2024 cycle because a lot of the guys are off the board, but 
it kind of it, it's that spark to start the 2025 offseason as well. And uh, I also I wanted to talk to you, though, because Ryan Williams was in the 2025 class up until about three weeks ago. So he, he, he reclassifies from 25 up to 24. And I heard you just say you think he can be an impact player in his first year at Alabama. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you saw him in the state championship game against a really good Clay Chalkville, one of maybe the best high school game I've ever seen with him and Jay and Jalen Mbakwe going back and forth, he certainly certainly showed what he could do. Also, the Under Armour All American game. I mean, talent translates. You know, at wide yeah. receiver, there's not as much to learn. You get in there, you learn the routes. You know, there's for Alabama the blocking. I think blocking is important for every wide receiver. Uh, any system, but for Alabama, it was ultra important. I think with Ryan, you're going to be able to put him in the slot, put him on the outside, put him in motion. You're going to be able to, you know, run reverses with him. I mean, what he's got, his talent, speed, hands, he's got a dog in him too that people don't talk about. He's a competitive joker. He's got everything to translate next year as a true freshman, even at 17 years old, which he's going to turn on February 9th. Mm. All right. Well, Tim, big statement on the field, big statement off the field. Finally, a bright day for Bama recruiting. But trust me, there's plenty more to come. Thanks, Tim Watts from Bama Online, dropping by the inside scoop and talking about this recent development. You got it, Josh. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.